Hello, my friend. My friend, thanks for welcome back to 60 Parsecs. We have arrived on a planet and we are all hungry. I'm alert. You're not worth all, so you failed literally every more times you've succeeded so far. Captain, I recommend surveying this place further. Consider seeing a crewmate on the supply one. Everybody's weak and asking for soup, but there is no soup. So, uh, craft soup. I'm detecting high levels of unknown toxin in that air system. Not, oh god, not another fucking gas attack. Seriously, how many? How many do we need? I know the is not too dangerous, but it has a lot. Oh no. Hallucinated <laughs> properly, so you shouldn't be breathing it long term. Air protection has got just around to the crash. The crack may have opened. Uh, duct tape. Why would. What's that? Battery or. Uh, what? I think duct tape will be the best. Wait, I need to send something out. Taurus or village? I say Taurus. Hazards. Grass. Let's say the librarian. And she should take that. Okay. Don't die. Girls up there, check girls. You use tape to. We have soup! We have soup! We have soup! We're never bad. I just use duct tape. Uh, you felt better. Uh, she's gone. You're so hungry. We, need, we still need more soup. Make, make soup. Captain, we are detecting transmissions of an unknown origin. Unfortunately, the communicator cards was damaging landing, and we cannot make anything out of them. On reply for that matter. We could hardware the primitive field communicator to bypass the damaged subsystems and access the soil's external transmission. Yeah, do it, do it. It's a phone, I bought it for that reason. Okay, who is... I think she deserves the first food. She looks dead. Hello world! Okay, great success for Captain. The communicator attached to the communications console won't like a charm. I won't judge the aesthetics since we can finally receive an answer transmissions. All we need now is wait for someone to contact us and someone will find us eventually. The crew is visibly excited by this incredible feat of engineering. Thankfully, I was able to do something. This Captain's useless. They were only slightly smirking while looking at the parched communications console. To all great Captain, you're so hungry. Poor Alf. Soup. Not hungry. April loves me. Oh. Wow. Look at it. Duct tape. We still need soup. Captain. Don't alarm the rest of the passengers. But something got the drop on me. It seems to be some kind of droid. It just activated. A web sack on its back carries... Float Sam? Metal scrap, bits of plants and other oddities. Including something that looks like a skull. It's extending a script to open the loan lock. So I secure the outlock and deny the robot entry. Well, it sounds to me like this guy is a merchant, so don't buy him entry. Okay, I'll give him. Don't kill us, robot. Despite the little droid's creepy approach, she decided to not secure the airlock. I must admit, I was dubious about such a course of action, but the machine turned out to be quite the resource. Resource. Once inside, it fluttered around gathering up dust, metal savings, and detritus. It whizzed a little, then out of its other end, a little orbs of material. One of the little ball of its well, organisms. A snack. It finished cleaning and left you while well, you sat with your crew munching robot poop. Yay. More soup. More soup. She's loyal to me because I gave her food. Captain, I found something interesting on the surface of the planet. Looks like someone passed the time by playing a super-sized version of Tic-Tac-Toe, but never completed this particular game. The game pieces consist of materials we could use, but... Now, I'm not one for ruining someone else's fun, but I think the win is clear by looking at the board. So, they shouldn't mind if we mess up the O's and X's. Should we take the liberty of gathering these pieces using the resources? Well, no, that's, a, that's such a bad, horrible thing. I mean, no. Because <laughs> if, they're, if they're, you know, not giants. If they are giants, they're going to stomp on us and kill us. And if they're just not giants, then they work really hard making that giant tic-tac-toe game. So, no, 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 let's not do that. Let's not piss everybody off while we got here. So, uh, let's have some soup. Megan's coming back, right? Megan? Megan? 
It was tempting to gather the supersized tic-tac-toe pieces for ourselves, but you decided against it. Maybe that's for the best, considering with that pieces these big, the poles are probably sensibly bigger. Told you. I'm sure there'll be more, more opportunities to get a hold of some materials and going without. Definitely beats having to explain to someone else why you decided the game in progress. Must never play some conversation. Poor health. Captain, I'm not hungry. I am resourceful and alert. Wait, what the frick? I have alien cockroaches. Can I get <laughs> No. Oh, gross. If it was just a cliche that cockroaches really want to survive a nuclear apocalypse. But it appears that a family of our extra <laughs> pedal friends have hitched a ride with us and got their own face helmets. Captain, be careful. These vultures are bigger, smarter, and far dangerous than the average representation of the species. You should try to kill them and all let them be. Wanna go on a bug hunt? No. Mainly because... I don't know. We're well, doing this space. We're waiting for first contract. I don't want to be the first thing to do is to kill them, so I can stay a bit, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give her more food because she's weak. Probably making contact with more soup soon. Snack! You didn't hunt down the vultures, instead up to the coexist with them aboard the shuttle. The watchers appreciated your peaceful repulse and left you something to show their gratitude. Yeah. These were not your guide of reality vultures, Captain, but the result of some top secret government experimentation. Experiment, mother. They left us without. Thanks for not killing us. Stay cool. Love the Pearsons. Megan returned safely from her expedition. She says she's a bit hungry while scaling her body. I detect some mental imbalances and a little weakness. The path was tricky, and an uneven surface planet makes it real easy to trip form. Down the last its battle against some sharp rocks. Great. The outpost was mostly empty, save for one bored dusty robot who gave Megan a full power cells as a welcome gift. Tour Center employees explained to Megan that a series of bored boops and distorted words the way to the museum and library. Megan knows her working communicator. Thank you so much. Where did the soup come from? Oh, there's the soup. It's the greatest mystery of the universe and everything. Anyway, we can pick up some soup on the way home. Uh, this place is a little neglected, mostly empty, save for the one rusty employee. Loyal, hungry, better, poor health. She looks weak, his status. Critical captain considers sharing a first day kit with her. Uh oh. Okay, we because like we have to send people out for expeditions anyway, so I might want to upgrade it. So we've got the museum, library. Well, the village. I say village. Can it out? Oh, wait. I'll hold off on that. We're experiencing minor technical difficulties with the communication console. In other words, we are completely deaf and blind. I can't pinpoint the origin of this malfunction, but I'm considering a tentering control signal captain's bomb. Shoot it. Hopefully that was good enough. Bye, friends. No, not the other fact! There was nothing more console with violence, apparently. At least there was my take on you repeatedly finding the gun at my communications console on the bomb. Congratulations, the bomb was disabled on the gunfire frenzy. We survived. That effect's destroyed. Boo. Captain, I'm detecting a troubling build-up of mental tension. Recommend a course of action for an epic party. I took a little bit of writing myself. A crew. I have no one. We are friends, listen to the most. It's very sad. Hey there, Captain Buzzkill. Feeling better? I bet you did much better off after a night party with your friend. Astro, you're lost. Whoa. The handbook requires addition. Do not trust people. They're capable of greatness. And you can almost always trust your... A side astral unit, made by the astral unit itself, I'm sure. Interesting news, Captain. It appears that there's a hollow space behind one of the wall panels. Agility. Not intelligent. What's day 19? Okay, tomorrow we'll feed everybody. Day 20. Yesterday I brought your attention to the hidden space behind the wall panels. No avail. Great. We'll probably never learn what's on the side. Really big soup can. Oh, okay. So everyone's really hungry. Captain, the transmitter was received while you were asleep. Deliver the decoding message. 
Crap, I don't have one. I can't even craft it. When you reach the location of the transmission of college, you can see someone sneaking off to a dart behind the big rock. Not suspicious, although you didn't bring the sock pocket the stranger asked for, how will we forget it for you? Right. I'm out of soup as well. Well, peers were receiving a seat. No, from deep space. It seems like a pulsar, except its pulse is not like anything I've seen before. Pulses are neutron stars with extremely fast rotation. They emit beams of EM radiation that can appear as intelligent in their origin. But this one is intelligent in their origin. Do you need to call them? She's clever. And I trust her more than this guy, because this guy's not really good. Last time I used him for intelligent stuff, we failed. Never again. Oh my god, what happened to you? She's insane. But she wants soup back. Megan rushed to call the poster's message, but the cipher proved too complex to solve. The message was only ceased. Oh, no, was it a countdown? Megan was hit by a target the ray of something nasty. She kneeled on pain. Extreme radiation poison was later discovered. Was this because she failed to solve the code? She's hurt. Okay. April came back from the nearby robot village. The place isn't too big, just a few streets and a few dozen robotic families at most. All of them peaceful. Anyway, April was a little frightened. She wasn't very hungry. The mental state is questionable. Smoke from machinery. A few gems. The inhabitants of the village were kind enough to give April directions to the bomb craters and the robot statue. And she picked up soup. Oh, Megan's hurt so badly she needs fucking help. Oh no, I need a med kit for... Uh, last night I was browsing through some designs of beautiful machines. Never you mind why. God, why? Now pay attention. I found a food dispensing machine on board. All shuttles in the Astral Program were equipped with one. Ours is missing a lever, but apart from that, it seems functional. It's hardly rocking so I just need to manage to fix it. But how? Duct tape. Duct tape all around. Give her soup. Official government research shows that there cannot be a thing in the universe that cannot be fixed with duct tape. You are very researchers with a duct a chair leg where the lever used to be. Then it's a little pull and there you go, Pat Captain. A brand new can of soup, straight from the vending machine. Unfortunately there's only one portion inside, don't worry I got rid of the remaining junk. I feel like he stole the rest of the soup. Why does he need it? Days remaining, what? Oh. Still, it's still making it. What are the odds? Someone spotted the astral students in an emergency cargo crate lying nearby. Bzzz, I had to check. Odds are infinitely small. Unfortunately, it's empty for a string of zap. Slap. Slap. HP. Some that issued the quiz for astral students with jubilation and hostile improvement. Don't ask why the capital P. Who used to use a syringe? Mechanic. What's wrong with you? April used the syringe of slap. Slap HP, and we were able to find it in the nearby cargo crate. She's feeling much better today. Might be hungry, and we're starving. Okay, Captain, remember that just no, Captain. I wonder if I just saw mini reactor it needs some regular cooling flush. The magnitude machine only occupies two thirds of so storage and ways like them. Are 20 ton truck, truly a marvel of space age minimization, keeping in good condition is critical yet difficult. You must spin the chocolate sand. Yep, yeah, sure, why not? Oh! He did it! I'm amazed. Roaches are back. Oh, they're the Peterson, sorry. Sorry, I'm really sorry. Uh, the Peterson is currently motivating the Roach holding crew, the second hold to appease the teenage daughter. Betty fits about. Moving out. All the noise from the construction is making it very difficult for you to sleep. Pearson's may add the sun if you like them part to keep it down. Yeah, I'll speak to them. You approached the watch hall and spoke calmly to Pete Peterson, the patronary of the group, about Russ. Can you. Alliteration. Russ is such a watch tree rocker slightly. No. The kindly watch apologized profusely and confessed the experiment that gave his family a sense. If I you over spaghetti, or you had to decline, do you? What? Baby's left. Who knows what's happening today? Sock puppet. Do the sock puppet. Okay. Okay. Gosh, this is so hard. This game stressed me out. 
I don't know because the heat, I'm just sweating. Okay, I'm gonna leave it here. We're still yet to make any contact with the outside world, Wobots family. Our statue is broken, so I'm assuming we're just upset the locals, and she's gone insane. I am not hopeful, but we're nearly on day 30, so who knows, really? Good or bad. But we shall see you for next time, I guess. But anyway, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, why not subscribe for more awesome content? And I'll see you in the next video. Hiya!